Hello dear students, welcome to English classes at Radhika Rinesh. Let's learn grammar now. And at first, we have to learn conjunctions. Have you heard about conjunctions? What's meant by conjunctions? Conjunctions are words which joins two phrases, clauses or sentences. So conjunctions as the name itself suggests conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases or clauses together to form a newer phrase, clause or sentence. And they are forming complex sentences that is multiplinous or short sentences can be combined together by using conjunctions to form new elegant sentences while we are joining uh, two sentences or two clauses or two words together you should have um, in mind that they should be parallel some similarities should be there among those uh, phrases, words or clauses or sentences, then only we can connect or we can join by using conjunctions uh, to make um, newer words, phrases, clauses or sentences. They should share our same structure. We can divide conjunctions into two coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. One other uh, type of conjunction is there that is correlative conjunctions. Let's learn uh, these types of conjunctions in detail. The first type is coordinating conjunctions. What's meant by coordinating conjunctions? Coordinating conjunctions are words which are joining to clauses or sentences with equal grammatical status. They are accompanying two main clauses or two independent clauses together. Uh, the examples for uh, coordinating conjunctions are, it's very easy to remember uh, the coordinating conjunctions in English uh, by remembering this word that is fanboys. Fanboys, they, that is for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. These are coordinating conjunctions in English, main coordinating conjunctions in English. Okay. The second type of conjunctions are correlative conjunctions. As the name itself suggests, they are relating. Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together. Examples for correlative conjunctions are either or, neither nor, not only but also. So, two words are there in these conjunctions. The third type of conjunctions are subordinating conjunctions. They join independent clause and dependent clause together. One independent clause and one dependent clause are joining together by using subordinating conjunctions. So, uh, there will uh, be a cause and effect relationship or a contrast or some other kind of relationship between the clauses. Uh, that is, um, while we are analyzing these types of conjunctions, you will get an idea on what's meant by subordination or cause and effect. Um, some subordinating conjunctions are because, since, as, although, though, while, and whereas. So, uh, we used to uh, use because uh, to denote a kind of cause and effect. He is ill because, sorry, he is uh, absent because he is ill. That is, in this sentence, because is the conjunction. And here, because denotes a kind of cause and effect. Because of his illness, he is absent. Okay, so a cause and effect uh, relationship is there by using subordinating conjunctions. And we can use some adverbs such as until, after, or before can, uh, can be used as subordinating conjunctions. Uh, while he was uh, walking or while he was uh, walking, his friend came. 
okay while is the conjunction is there so here uh, while that is a ta a progress a work is progressing and another um, thing has happened okay in order to denote such things subordinating conjunctions are used so it's a very simple term that is conjunction uh, three types of conjunctions are there they are coordinating conjunction correlative conjunction and subordinating conjunctions hope you have understood this video and do not uh, forget to write down notes while you are watching this video okay thank you bye bye